In our previous video, we did talk about the filament repeater component, whereby you can be able to use it to create data that is repeating in a JSON uh, column. Today, I would like us to use a builder component. And in this builder component, you can be able to have the components sort of repeated, but in no specific order. So the builder in this case is almost, um, I can say, better than the repeater in terms of whatever it is that um, you may want to achieve with um, your content. So let me let, let me try to just take you through and show you an example that um, I would like us to talk about. And just to sort of give you an overview of how you can be able to work with a builder and um, all it is that you need to know about uh, that. So I would like to create a model, which in this case we will call the post model. So PHP artisan make model. In this case, our model, we are going to call it post model. And I would like us to have migrations. In our model, I would like to go to database, first of all, migrations, and um, go to the posts migration, and I would like us to just have one column here, which will be a JSON column. So you have table, and what I want us to have here is um, JSON, and then it will be uh, post content. But in this case, I intend to have the headings, the body, the paragraphs, everything in um, one place, sort of. And then we will go to the model, the post model, and create a cast for our post uh, content. Protected casts. Inside here we have the model, I mean the post, post content. And this we are going to set to an array. So you have an array cast of um, that value. I think it's supposed to have an arrow like that. After doing this, I would like us to create a resource. So PHP, artisan, make a filament resource, and we will call it post resource. We will open our resource and go ahead and attempt to create a form. So we will go into app filament directory um, and then go to post resource uh, file. And here where we have the form schema, we will pass in the builder. So we will have builder make. And in this case now, the name of the JSON column that we have in our database. So in this case, post underscore content. And after that, we can have uh, blocks, and that will be an array. So I would like us to import the builder above here, and whatever it is that we want to import is filament forms components builder. It seems we are having an issue because we have been able to import uh, this other one. So I would like to just import it manually. So use filament forms. Uh, component builder like that and because of the conflict we will remove this one obviously if you are using the elo eloquent builder also probably you can be able to uh, do the namespacing uh, directly here and that you still work so after that then we can have the various blocks that we may have in a blog post of course, we can have several types of headings. So there are posts, there are headings that will be major headings and some small headings in there. So in this case, you can be able to have heading as one of the builder blocks. So I would like us to have that. So you have, so in this case, what we are going to have is builder block, make heading like that. And then we will have the schema. And inside here now, we can have our form content. So in this case, we can have text input uh, heading. In this one, we have uh, maybe a label of a heading. 
you can also say that uh, the heading is uh, required, something of that sort. We can also import the text input uh, form component. And then after that, we may also attempt to check the type of heading, whether it is heading 1 or heading 2 or heading 3, such that whenever we will be uh, displaying the blog post now in our um, front page, we can be able to take care of that by virtue of the fact that we already set these values uh, there. So we can have a select and we can maybe call it level, maybe type, and here we will have options. And in our options, we can have maybe heading one. In this one, you have a label of um, heading one. And then heading two with a label of um, heading uh, two and so on. So I would like to just um, have this there. Uh, we are having an error here. We will separate it using... Um, comma like that. I would like to migrate our table such that we can be able to look at it the way it displays. So PHP it is and migrate. And this you migrate the posts table that you've created recently. So if I am to refresh and click on posts, new post. And as you can see there is an error somewhere. I have been able to type in builder make. So there is a typo in my code. And it is exactly here. So I remove and refresh again and see if it will display properly. And so when you look at it, there is nowhere where we are having that heading thing. And it only appears when we click on add post. So then you can see the heading. When you select it, then that is what you have. So sometimes to give it styling, you can ensure that it's panning all the way and all that. And uh, I believe that we can be able to cover in a, in a different video and probably I've been able to talk about it previously. We can just maybe for the specific uh, block say that the columns are two such that the display will be a little bit nicer like that. So if I'm um, to refresh and try to check how the heading re uh, displays, now we are having the heading and the level on this other side. So even the heading has its own typos, but it's okay. I would like to maybe add a few more uh, blocks as such that maybe we can uh, maybe have a feel of how these um, sort of builder or some kind of special repeater uh, works. So I would like to have a different building block. And so I Possibly I can be able to just copy this and uh, bring it um, down here and have another block. Maybe here we can have paragraph. Paragraph, I believe I've been able to type it in properly. And uh, inside that we can be able to pass in our data. And we are having some error yeah, because we need a comma here like that. And... Um, so now we have the heading and the paragraph. And so for the paragraph, we can be able to have a text area, text, um, text area, um, make paragraph. And uh, we can say the label is a paragraph, something of that sort. And I believe for this one, for the paragraph, we can have it like that. Or maybe we could be able to use rich text such that we have the uh, good highlighting and whatever, depending with whatever it is that you want to do, you can make those uh, decisions. So now, as you can see, we have, um, I've not been able to have the paragraph yet. I do not know why it is not being uh, picked. Is it that I've not saved? It seems I have placed it in, um, because it should be inside the block so i have placed it in a wrong place so let me remove it it's not supposed to be there because this is our first block which is um the heading block and that is why it was displaying that one only so we can go to the next one and then have the next block 
I believe that one is now correct. So if I'm to refresh again and check, now we have the heading and paragraph. But remember, we are not forced to begin with a heading or begin with a paragraph or do anything of that sort. So whatever it is that we choose is what that it, what it is that is presented for us to be able to use. So I can type in, we have paragraph one. I can decide to still do a paragraph. So again, uh, we will have paragraph two. I can type in whatever it is that I want. And if I want still to have a paragraph again, I can say I will choose a paragraph again, paragraph um, uh, three, and uh, type in something. And then if I decide to pick a heading, I can pick heading and that and then that will be now heading one, sort of uh, heading um four. Sort of we can type in our heading and then we can select the type of heading that it is and so on and so forth. And we can go ahead and create our whatever it is that we are working with. And since we did set everything in place correctly, as you can see, we are able to create uh, that data. So basically that is how you can be able to work with the builder component, which is sort of similar to the repeater component, but it is more powerful in which, in, in the ways in which you can be able to deal with it. Thank you very much for following this video up until this point. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please consider giving a subscription. If you have a question, a compliment, um, any other thing that you'd like to share, you can share in the comment uh, section below. Thank you very much.